lot of people they like to have shorter sleeves or go sleeveless and they're worried about like the definition and tone in their arms. I can't believe that I'm going to be talking about it this way. But this exercise here is going to really help to define those arms, build a stronger foundation through the core, and even tie in your lower body. That exercise that we're going to talk about today is what we call the tripod exercise. Very practical, very functional exercise. It'll actually help you to transition from being on the ground to standing up on both feet. What I also like about it is it's for those guys out there. I'm going to speak to you guys because I know what it's like to be a guy in the weight room. So it brings me back to a story being in one of these kind of machismo gyms. And in this gym I remember uh, this group of guys sitting around the bench press getting ready for their next set as they're kind of tightening up their straps on their gloves and they're tightening up their weight belts. And, you know, one guy just says, I wish it didn't hurt my shoulders and elbows anymore when I bench press. And then he said that, and guess where he went right after he said that? Underneath the bench press. So there's better alternatives to hitting your pecs, to hitting your chest muscles, hitting those shoulders, and getting that definition in those arms. We go into what we call a senior graduation pose. You know where you are. One leg bent, elbows on top of that knee, and you're just chilling out. You're just, you know, striking the pose. Now when you... When you get into that position, the last thing you want to do is sink. You don't want to, you don't want to be disengaged. You don't want to just droop. Get that long spine, extension through the thoracic spine. You want that hand and opposite leg, opposite foot, to already have that relationship with the ground, that, that tense relationship. Pretty simple from there. I mean, all you do is you just, you push into the floor, and because of that push through your arm, through your opposite leg, your body elevates, it hovers, it levitates. We're looking for that foot, knee, and hip to stay parallel with the floor. In that transition, slowly bring that leg back, set that knee down underneath you, and there's your tripod. One, two, three points of contact. Half the battle right there. Now you gotta bring it back. We thread the needle with that leg. As we push back into the floor, knee comes off the ground, and then set it down. Doesn't get any easier than that, kind of. <laughs> In that transition, you have so much control, you have so much body control, that if I were to say red light, anywhere in that transition, you'd be able to stop on a dime, just like that. What about an ultimate sandbag? How could we make this? Put that ultimate sandbag on your shoulder. I like to tell people now, as you're in that senior graduation pose, you're holding on to that ultimate sandbag like a 1980s boom box. A sandbag is going to do so many things, but what it's really going to do is tie in better and it's going to put more focus on the abdomen. You don't have an ultimate sandbag. Not a problem. Do you have a 2x4? Just a simple 2x4, that's all you need. Lay that 2x4 down, one foot on it, opposite hand on the other side, knee behind, take it through. We can also move into alternating tripods. As we're moving on that 2x4, we can have a good time and bypass the knee and go into what we like to call the leg thread. Beautiful. That's what it is. Just beautiful. And that movement around that shoulder is going to hit your chest in so many different ways than a simple bench press. No matter if you change your hands, no matter if you use dumbbells or kettlebells in any incline, decline press, what have you, it doesn't matter. That tripod, that's really functional, that's practical. And through that movement through your body, through that shoulder joint, that chest is going to receive so many benefits through that movement. And remember, play around. Life's too serious to be exercising. We should be playfully moving. So until next time.